it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And I'm going to start off with a thumbnail question that I put up there. What is a carbon neutral beer? This is by Black Sheep Brewery. It's called Respire. It's carbon neutral IPA coming in at 4% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. There's the black bottle cap, dark brown bottle, so no light's gonna get in uh, whatsoever here. Um, the Yorkshire Dales Millennium Trust. Now that gives you a little key there, a little kind of clue as to why it could be carbon neutral. First of all, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. You'll find a blooming bottle opener. Plenty on the back wall. Right, here we go then. I picked this up in Asda, picked it up, put it back down again, picked it up, put it back down again, and then I ended up going back, put it in my trolley. And the reason why I put it in my trolley and the reason why I was, I was kind of umming and ahhing as to buy it in the first place is I was like, oh, it's uh, kind of like the world we're living in at the moment. I, I know the world's warming up. I really know. I know all of these things. But it's almost like it's almost the, the, the world we're living in at the moment is forced. It's, it's whenever you put on a a website or uh, you read the news or you buy a bottle of blooming beer you, you try and buy a bag from a supermarket you know you, you're constantly reminded of of all of these things and and sometimes there's a line isn't there there's a line to be crossed and you just go I'm, I'm i'm like I know we have to do stuff. I totally know all of these things, but but there's someone someone left a comment when I unboxed the video. Someone said it's it's uh, gesturing something something or other. Kind of like if you if you watch the if you watch the unboxing, you did comment on that. Someone like token gesturing or so or something that they, they, they mentioned and. Uh, Anyway, one finger, white head, good levels of carbonation in the beer. It's um, clear, golden, amber. Let's get the aroma. Wow, the first thing... First thing for me is the beer's got to be good. It doesn't smell too bad. It smells like regional brewery. It's hoppy, but it, it, it's slightly got a kind of a metallic tinniness to it. It might be the hops, but it might be diacetyl as well. A little bit of kind of butterscotch in there. I, I don't like want to be too harsh on this company because they've been through the mill a little bit, 2023. I think they've, they've either changed ownership, so I think they went into administration, I think. I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but they've had their problems this year, Black Sheep, 2023. But all I can do is be, stand here and be a, a, an honest beer reviewer. There's no point in being otherwise, is there? I might as well just pack up and walk away if I'm not going to be honest. It doesn't smell great. It cost me about £1.80 a bottle in my local Asda. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It actually tastes an awful lot better than it smells. Put a smile on my face, that, because I was thinking, oh, God, what's this? Yeah, it, was, it doesn't smell great, but the taste is okay.
And it's quite nice actually. <laughs> it's zesty, lemon-like. Orange peel, lots of peels. Orange peel, lime peel, grapefruit peel, lemon peel. That sort of kind of spiky, nice bitterness on the back end. It's, it's, a, it's a nice beer. It's a nice beer, thankfully. And I'll be honest with you, uh, we're going into October now, 2023. This is the first time of the year, because we had a cold night last night. I can leave my beers now out in the conservatory and they get down to about, at the, I reckon about nine degrees the beer is, which is perfect for grabbing all of those lovely flavours in the beer. I do like this time of year where I can just leave my beers in the conservatory, hence they're, they're all over the bar now. You just kind of leave them out here. Yeah. I haven't got to annoy the wife by having them in boxes in the kitchen or in fridges and what, well, I can just leave it all out everywhere. Yeah, th this is good. This, this is good. This is good beer. Well done, black sheep. I don't know what the aroma I still don't like the aroma on the beer, but I, I quite like the taste. It's, it's, it's very nice, especially for £1.80 a bottle. A bit sweet to begin with, slightly dry. Then you go on to like spicy pepperiness, bitterness, all them peels I was talking about. It's a very refreshing IPA. So let's talk about the elephant in the room then this whole carbon neutral thing uh and why i put it on the shelf picked it back up again and, and um, you know tug a wall with the beer do i buy it or i don't buy it if you're in the brewing industry if you know brewing you will know that brewing is one of the most like boiling water is one of the worst energy kind of consuming things that you can do. Whenever you warm something up, I mean, you've probably seen it if you've got one of those electric things in the electric meter things that you can see how much electric you're using. Put the kettle on, switch the iron on, anything like an electric heater or something like that, boom, it whacks up. So in brewing, there's a lot of boiling of water. You're boiling for like, you could be boiling for 40 minutes, a rolling boil on certain beers. You think big vats of beer, boiling, boiling, but it's going to be massively energy intensive. So here's my argument. My argument is they probably, Yorkshire Dales Millennium Trust, they probably gone to a field somewhere, planted a million little saplings that, might get eaten by sheep or other animals, cows or whatever. And they call it carbon offsetting. I, I, I don't think they should call it carbon neutral personally because it's impossible. I think if you're going to call something carbon neutral, it has to happen at the source. It has to happen at the brewery. And that's never going to happen. That is never going to happen in a million years. Unless you've got a field full of solar panels powering... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, powering your brewery from next door. And, and you probably need a whole field full of solar panels just to, use, just to get a blooming boil kettle boiling up. We got solar panels on this roof of the house. We got 10 of the damn things. And it's still, I'm still using electricity if I flick the kettle on. I'm using my own electricity from the grid. There's not enough power from the sun with 10 solar panels to boil a blooming kettle. Unless I bought rubbish solar panels, that is, and they're not doing their job properly. Um, so yeah, mixed feelings, mixed feelings. The beer, first and foremost, is good. Buy it because it's good. It's a decent beer. Decent beer for the price. If, like me, you feel you, you know brewing and, 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 and 
you know that in a million years you can't boil a boil kettle and be carbon neutral. It's never going to happen. Um, and you feel a bit kind of like it should happen at the source, then you're probably going to have mixed feelings about this beer. Um, you're probably going to have mixed feelings too about like buying plastic bags in supermarkets or cardboard ones that cost 25 pence these days, you know, and, and, and everything else that's in the news about what we should be doing and whatnot. Sometimes in life, when you want to buy a beer, you want to break from it all, don't you? You just want to go, ah, right, bad seed, new school, West Coast Pilsner. I can forget about the world's on fire and, and, and just have a beer without thinking, of, you know, thinking about the world on fire. The, that's my point. You you sit with it. I'm sure this is going to cause uh, quite a bit of discussion. You sit with it as you as you feel. I've just given you my personal opinion. When I when when I want to have a beer, I don't want to be you know I don't want to be contemplating the blooming world and am I going to be alive next year that sort of thing. Um, but the beer is good. The beer is good. It's a it's a seven out of ten. 7 out of 10 from Real Elk Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.